Shot. Oh, she did good. Shot. Oh, yes. Anything? Shot. Shot. This is definitely pushing the envelope case. Shot. It's going well. Maria, I gotta show you our, our foot shake video. Shot. You know all the different handshakes that I have for COVID? We just videoed all of them, all the different ones, shot. Okay, um, Deborah entering canal. Shot, yeah, something about anal sphincter. Shot. All right, so check this out. I'm in laterally, and the annular tear is just medial to where I am. And this is why I use the blue dye. Look at that, it's like, oh, it's coloring by numbers. And that's why I still use the dye. It's pretty. And let's face it, I use every possible advantage that I could possibly have. I, it's never enough. You can tell it's scarred in though. Can you loosen this so I can dry it? Look at that. Look away, look away. See that little um, little blood vessel going through that white band? Oh, pinchy, pinchy. Here's me using the cannula as a working device. And so cool, you can see the annular tear. That's the ligamentum flavum. The nerve is right there too, but I've been pushing it aside. And I'm just marching my way more and more medial. Can you loosen the retractor now? Don't let it jump. So the idea is the ligamentum flavum pushes away the nerves. That's how you can do this all percutaneously and safely. There's the nerve right there, that white band. You can see how stuck it is. It's supposed to be completely free. Ooh, I better be careful. You can see it's a little pinkish, I think. Sometimes everything looks like a nerve, and in my mind, everything is a nerve until proven otherwise. So I, don't, I thought I saw a nerve, but I don't think it was a nerve. I think it was a band of ligamentum flavum, but it is right there because I am almost to the other side. So I basically got to get all this nucleus trapped inside the torn annulus. Lock that right there. Seemingly so simple, yet I'm dizzy right now trying to picture everything in my mind. Just freeing it up. Favorite pituitary now. Picture there. Picture there. Picture there. Sometimes this thing will come squirting out like a pimple. Thank you, that makes sense. Looking for something called the Mikey fragment. It'll come out like a little poop. Don't tell Mikey I said that. This is a curved grasper. This is reaching under and up.
can just tell something wants to squirt out. <laughs> yep. I have a video called Pimple Popping in the Spine. It got a fair number of views. It was a Cotty Quina patient from Christmas Eve or New Year's Eve, I can't remember. At Palomar. It's, I went in there on New Year's Eve. I think I operated on it on New Year's Day. But that's what happens when you become a surgeon. You've got duties. Let me have my uh, favorite back. And then I'll take then I'll take the Elman probe and then the laser. So we never tested the laser, did we? Okay, one of the other very important devices, the trigger flex radio frequency probe. Without this, I cannot do the surgery. I may be able to do it without the laser, but not this. This is like my putter. The laser is like my sand wedge. Yep. Thank you. My mama's saying, son, will spine surgery easier without nerves? I'd be like, yes, mama. Way easier. Look at that. You can see it's trapped right there. And that's what's officially called kakapupu. That shouldn't be there. And look at how incompetent that is. And that will generate all kinds of inflammatory activity in the, sp in the body. And inflammation is absolutely vital to our survival. Otherwise, we die of an over overwhelming infection and we will not be able to heal any wounds. But by the same token, it's such a complex process, it can go haywire. And it does so very frequently. All kinds of tendonitis, chronic use syndromes, bowel problems, and they even think cancer are related to the inflammatory process. Oh yes, I will now take the laser. You'll see how magical this instrument is. Yeah. So the, yep. So this is the laser. One of many instruments that I use obviously, but this is the one that's so magical because look at that. You're probably wondering, where's all that tissue go? How does it disappear? And where does it go? Hopefully it won't go up into the sky and then come raining back down on us like that movie. I think it was called Envy or something with Ben Stiller. But it is magical. But you can see blood vessels starting to grow into it. That's why it's called granulation tissue. The nerve is right above it. There's a tiger stripe going straight down, but that blood vessel right there, it's in the annulus trying to heal. Oh yeah, look at that. Can you loosen this again? So now you can see that the blue posteriorly is starting to disappear and you only have blue down in the middle. That's very consistent with the annular tear because it should only be blue on the outside if there is a, a tear leading toward it. That bright blue stuff is gone. But there's still some there. Oh, I can tell why I'm on x-ray. I'm definitely over enough because I know exactly where the annular tear is on the MRI. Most of it was over here. You can tell I got it all. There's a few little blue stained pieces that I can get on the way out. Oh yes, that looks good. Now I'm gonna to look totally toward me. That's lateral, away from the canal. And that's where the exiting nerve root goes out. That's not your problem, but if it was, that's how I would deal with that if you're wondering. 
And you can see the little bone shavings that we made with the cereal reamers. Is everything okay with that sound? So it's just the way I like it. That looks good. There's the facet joint line, that's so cool. And there's the medial edge of the facet joint. Everything's upside down and backwards right now. Okay. Think I'm done. I don't think I am done. I just want to triple check. Cause I check my car alarm three times too.